camera. It's pretty sad. Yep. So as I said, these came in um, yesterday. The ones that are shown are the dark black couple ones that usually work best for us. We didn't get slides. Oh, the... Do we need two? Or just one? Uh, I've got more up here if you okay. need. It's just, you're going to be doing, what you're going to be looking at are, try to do the own fertilization, which the sperm are moving, but the eggs are seem to be dead already. And then I have uh, two components up here, the two, four, or six stage divisions that you can look at. Okay, okay those seem to be happier. So... You will, not, will now see the process of fertilization in vivo thanks to the sea urchins provided for you in this laboratory. Some of the developmental life stages of the following young larva can be viewed using the following procedure. Place the sea urchins in specimen dishes That's containing been done for you, so we're not doing this part. Inject 0.5 milliliters of 0.5 molar potassium chloride on each side of the mouth located on the oral side of the sea urchin. You do not have to inject them too deep. Keep in mind that sea urchins have a nervous system and they are capable of feeling pain. So please handle them properly. The potassium chloride allows for the release of gametes from the gonopores located on the umbral side of the urchin. If a white fluid is released, then you will know it is sperm. Collect the fluid with a pipette and store it on ice in a plastic tube. When finished, place the pipette in biohazardous waste. Keeping the sperm on ice will slow down metabolic activities and keep the sperm in good condition for the upcoming fertilization process. If a reddish fluid is released, then you will be dealing with eggs. Collect the fluid with a pipette and place it in a 100 milliliter beaker containing some seawater. When finished, place the pipette in biohazardous waste. Place one drop of seawater containing eggs on a glass depression slide. You do not need to put a cover slip on it. If you use a cover slip, now cover slip you're able to look at an egg under the microscope. If you're using three or ten, you don't need a Observe cover Observe its different parts, such as the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. Now dilute the sperm in seawater by placing two drops of sperm and ten milliliters of seawater in a small beaker. Place one drop of the sperm solution onto your depression slide containing the eggs. You can now view the fertilization process under the microscope. Observe the sperm and the egg. Cell division starts with the first cleavage where the zygote splits into two cells approximately 90 minutes after fertilization. After another hour, the second cell division starts in four cells and division continues to form eight cells, 16, and on to the 128 cell blastulus stage, approximately in one size. day after the egg was fertilized. When you are finished with the lab, put the sea urchins in the seawater container labeled used. The used sea urchin... So, what they didn't spend very much time on is what we don't get to see. So I want to show you a different film for that, and they're not even in focus here. So what you want to do, you may want to look at sperm first by themselves, or it's sometimes easier, because they're so tiny it's hard to find when you're in focus with them or not. So it's actually usually easier to uh, get the egg, focus on eggs that will be in and out, but focus on a couple of eggs that are in focus. And then you can just use the fine focus after you add the sperm, and you should be at about the proximate level. You can see the difference in size. Okay? So what happens, what they didn't show is uh, typically just with the sperm come in, they start the egg spinning as they try to get uh, through that fertilization membrane because they don't have the corona radiata. And then once one sperm makes it through, this membrane separates out. So you can already see that that membrane is separated out. So this egg that they're showing you has already been fertilized. So the one I the next one I want to show you is a phase contrast. And I 
I should also get the phase contract and see if this will work better. not before, so. Where it's been added, so all the water is moving just because of the addition of the drop. These are very happy spurs. Oh. Is that all the spurs total? Yeah, all those little black dots that they're out of focus, that's why they look so big. So these are all the spur. On the second time I did it, these are all the spurs right here. Their acrosomal reaction is breaking through that um, fertilization membrane. Here, somebody's gotten through. Oh. See that how that's moving that out? That's that cortical reaction. It's pushing the rest of the sperm away. Yeah, it's pushing them away, knocking them out if they started to penetrate through. Oh. And then that fertilization membrane will harden. And um, so that's what we would see if our sperm were happy. Okay. All of these eggs have now been fertilized. I wanted you to know, I've sometimes asked on a lab exam, you know, which of these, is this egg fertilized or not fertilized? If it has that fertilization membrane separated like that, um, due to the cortical reaction, the egg has been fertilized. So where's the one sperm that got it? Uh, it could be on the back side. It's hard to say where it might uh, be particular. You can see there's still a bunch that are stuck. Oh, they get stuck in the little... Yeah, as it hardens. They'll get stuck in there. Oh, oh, okay, so they're still working on this one. <laughs> so all of these have been fertilized. That's what you're supposed to see today in your microscope. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, try that process. Um, so let me switch back to... So on the... Um, scope here, I can't go up to 40. 40 makes it easier to actually see the individual sperm. If you do use 40, you need to have a cover slip first on your depression slide. Okay? So uh, don't mix up. Apparently it doesn't make any difference right now. They're not happy. Um, but don't mix up. Girls are pink, boys are blue. So don't put a, a pink pipette in a blue or vice versa. If it was uh, really active, they would all get fertilized and nobody would get to watch it if you put the sperm <laughs> pipette in the wrong one or more important than not put the sperm pi pi uh, pipette in here. So when you pick this up, you'll notice there's a bunch of yellow at the bottom. So just don't squirt it up and down, just kind of turn it, move it with this. And then take up about an inch or so of fluid and um, or half an inch, two quarters of an inch and put it in the depression uh, scope. So take the scope with you. I mean, not the scope, but the slide. Uh, slide with you. Make sure you know which side is the depression side. And put in, you know, about this much of the fluid. You don't want it running over. And then come back, and you can focus on it. If you want to put the cover slip on that time, you may. The three X's is going to dip down into the fluid. This is salt water, so it's corrosive. It's like we don't want to get oil into the 100 X. We don't want to get salt water on any of the objectives. All right, so don't be, you know, splashing things on it. The cover slip just protects. If you have the cover slip on there, you can put the sperm on the side and like capillary action, they'll get under the glass slip, okay? If you have it on 3X and you've seen the eggs, you can go ahead and add the sperm without the cover slip. Just do it on the side. Don't put the tip of the sperm pipette into your solution again. Just kind of put it on the, let it drop into from the side. And then you can put your cover slip on when you go to higher power. But to see the per sperm, you, it, probably should be at least at 10x. Okay, if you want to try 40x, I don't have enough light access to the microscope here to do that. So, girls and guys. Okay, so each of the microscopes should have, it should have a one or two other slides now. Once you've done that, and I'll, that's what I'm going to um, do now.
now is put up the two and the four, okay, as soon as I've gone through this process with you. So if you want to try, well, go ahead and try this. I tried the other eggs that I brought in and they didn't work any better. So, to go through the process, um, you would take a depression slide, this is on 3X, okay, and take some eggs. to bring these little pipettes to the microscope rather than obviously you take it out you're going to start disturbing what you have. So I don't have a cover slip on here so I'm just going to drop this without touching. And that disturbs obviously the fluid. So I'll let it settle down a little bit. You can start to see some squiggling. Okay. So once you start to see that squiggling, some are going to be in focus and some will be out of focus because you're at different levels. And now if you wish, you can put a cover slip on it and go up to 40 and you'll be able to see the sperm better. You don't need oil though. Okay? And then once you've looked around, um, you'll see that some of them just come in and get stuck on that membrane. But when I did it earlier while you guys were preparing for the quiz, I didn't see any that popped the uh, membrane out and it actually got fertilized. At least once you've gone through that process and recognize, compared to the video that we just watched, what needs to happen, then you can rinse that off, just dry it with lens paper, and uh, get samples of the cells that have already been fertilized. Um, we have two to four and four to eight cleavages here. Okay, so I'll change it to that. Um, but just leave this up on here on the board for a little while. And then if that only takes you 20 minutes or so, then you've got time to look, go back to the female reproductive models or review male if you wish. Tomorrow in lecture, we will start at the fertilization and follow the implantation through. Uh, we may not get completed with embryo development, so I may need to do about 20 minutes of lecture on Tuesday. 
okay, before we do the complete you know, review time. So I added that extra day in there. All righty. Let's lab. Okay. I'll put the um, two videos that I showed you uh, linked up to on D2L this afternoon. This is a concave set, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Sure. Um, I would